Charles here, back in the Juno studio with an impressive new module from Chaos Devices, the Zargsheb Stereo 4 Pole VC Filter. Well, let's get to the bottom of this device. Zargjeb is a compact stereo multi-mode filter device. It's got five different frequency responses, three of which are available simultaneously. There are three stereo outputs for each of the filter modes. Let's have a listen to the high-pass filter first. There's a low-pass filter output as well. Both the high-pass and low-pass filters have a 24 decibel per octave slope, giving it a really smooth sound. Then there's the bandpass filter, which has three different modes within it. Each mode features a different slope, giving you subtle timbral control. Zargjeb has a few handy extra controls. There's a resonance control with a handy red light to let us know when the signal is peaking. Then there's a spread control, allowing us to animate the stereo image by moving the left and right cutoff frequencies in opposite directions. Finally, we've got some good old-fashioned frequency modulation controls for adjusting the cutoff frequency. We've actually got two as well, with a sensitivity control for the first FM input. And that's all of the controls. Let's get some jams going. For this first jam, I'm going to be combining the low pass and band pass filters whilst modulating the spread and cutoff frequencies with two separate LFOs. My first LFO will provide some more malleable modulations to the spread of Zargjeb before I increase the harsher LFO feeding the frequency modulation input to create something entirely different.
Although Zogjeb has a super smooth filter response, the modulation options allow you to push it into some much more intense territory, which can be great for glitching out audio sources. How about we try something a little smoother? Here I'm using a Verbose Electronics harmonic oscillator as my audio source, modulating the overtones to create a constantly morphing sound. In turn, I'm feeding this into Zargzheb and outputting the high pass and low pass filters separately. As I increase the modulation into Zargzheb, as well as the resonance, we'll get a really warped bassline sound. I really love the sound that this creates. Having the high pass and low pass filters working off each other means you can get a really rich output signal whilst keeping the harmonic movement of the filter frequency modulation. Okay, let's put all of this together for our final jam. This one was really fun to put together. I wanted to use Zagzheb to help chop up some Amen breaks combined with some randomly triggered pad samples from my Bitbox sampler. The low pass and band pass filters, alongside a combination of LFOs, are working together to cut, screw, and resonate the drums and pad in various ways, whilst the high pass filter output will provide a cleaner sound to layer on top. Thanks for checking out our first look on the Chaos Devices Zargzheb. For more info and specs, check it out on the Juno website via the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to stay in the loop and we'll see you next time.